on that monumental move that we've been uh, talking about, taking the Wizards and Caps from D.C. to Virginia, the move is no more. How about that, folks? Ted Oberg live in our newsroom with the breaking details on this. Ted, tell us about it. Yeah, Leon and Millette, we don't know exactly where Leonsis is taking his team, but we do know the move to Alexandria is off. The monumental move, a possible monumental miss. The city of Alexandria's economic development partnership saying just minutes ago they are disappointed in what occurred between the governor and the General Assembly. And look, we did ask these questions earlier uh, of Ted Leonsis, and he told Mark Seagraves in February if the Virginia move fell apart, he told Mark he, quote, owns the building, talking of Capital One Arena, and he would move back to D.C. We don't know where Monumental will end up, but we do know the city has a standing offer to hand over 500 million D.C. dollars to Monumental for the renovation of Cap One. Under that deal announced in December, the teams would have to stay in downtown D.C. until the end of 2052 without the ability to leave early and or pay and get out. When D.C. made that offer in mid-December, it came with unanimous support from the mayor and the entire D.C. Council. But Leonsis said no. You'll likely remember the very cheery announcement, there it is, on December 13th, that Leonsis was taking his team to Potomac Yards in Alexandria. Under that deal, and it seemed like a sure thing that day, didn't it? Virginia taxpayers would have backed $1.5 billion in bonds to build an arena, music venue, entertainment complex. Leonsis would have put in $400 million in cash and paid rent for years. In December, it seemed like a huge announcement, but it couldn't get past the legislature, especially State Senate Finance Chair Louise Lucas, which likely doomed what Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin called, in his words, the single largest economic development deal in Virginia's history. It's still unclear where Monumental will end up, but today's decision does come at an interesting time for a few reasons. For months, Leonsis has been talking about how much he wants out of the district. And remember what he told Mark Seagraves just a couple months ago. My legacy is not finished and complete. Um, I'm going to build, though, the greatest building the greatest sports community because I got the land and the room to do it. And then we're going to win more Stanley Cups and we're going to win an NBA championship. That's how my legacy will be made. But you can't define what my legacy is on NBC. That's not, that's not for you to do. My legacy will be earned over a body of work and I have zero concerns about what um, people think my legacy is right now. His legacy likely to be defined even further this afternoon. If we hear more, we'll have to see how the owner plays it. Let's also point out a few other complications. First, D.C. is about to roll out a budget that likely will show budget costs across city agencies and possible tax increases for people who live in the district. It doesn't appear, however, that is softening council support for the $500 million plan, at least right now. Second, it comes just days after the D.C. Attorney General told Leonsis he couldn't get out of his lease until 2047. And lastly, the Washington commanders are looking for a new stadium, too. D.C. squarely in that mix as recently as yesterday. Team owner Josh Harris and the NFL commissioner both discussed the possibility of moving that team back to D.C. That could require more money from the district as well. And, Leon, listen to this. Mm. State Senator Louise Lucas just tweeted a second ago. As Monumental announces today they are staying in D.C., we are celebrating in Virginia that we avoided the monumental disaster, she says. Thank you to everyone who stood with us in this fight. That answers my question. Yeah. I was wondering how long before Louise Lucas would take a victory <laughs> lap on this. Uh, Come so on. That's over now. We, we knew that answer. Are we expecting to hear anything from the mayor anytime yeah. soon? I, 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 it, is, it is likely that we will hear something from city leadership at some point soon. This is clearly a huge announcement from the folks across the river. Mm -hmm. We don't have anything official from the mayor nor from Monumental at this point, um, but we do expect that maybe here uh, at some point before the sun sets we'll hear something. I want to hear from the mayor. We want to hear from all of those people in the district who were rallying uh, to keep the teams in the district. I mean, they joined forces uh, with the folks in Alexandria who did not want them to to make the move, um, and they wanted to keep the teams here. Yeah. So, so much to talk about, um, and so many people to hear from. Thank you so much, Ted Oberg. You bet. In the newsroom. All right.